as you come through with your stride, that last little bit before you touch the ground is where we make this motion here and we plantar flex and we land on our forefoot. But if you take that away, because there's a wedge there in your shoe, you'll land on your heel. Running barefoot can be a great exercise to learn how to run on your midfoot. Take a quicker stride rate, have less injury risk, better impact absorption, and run more efficiently. Let's talk about barefoot running. I'm out here in Costa Rica at the beautiful Wales Tail. You can see beaches on both sides of me here and this giant sandbar that just goes out and creates this beautiful beach. I suggest you look it up, but the reason I'm inspired to talk about barefoot running today is because while well, I'm in the sand, barefoot running. Now, I talked about this with one of my clients yesterday. She believes that she's running on her forefoot most of the time, but when we actually capture her in pictures, she's heel striking. And you may find this with yourself. You may even think that you are forefoot or midfoot striking. And then when you see pictures or video of yourself, you see that you're heel striking a little bit more than you thought you were. I'm gonna give you a little tool that you can use to help move to a forefoot strike. Now I've got a whole bunch of videos and content on why heel strike versus forefoot strike, like what the differences are and why we might want to be on our forefoot, what the advantages are, and also if you are landing on your heels, why that is and how to remedy it. But I'm not going to go into that on this video. I'm just going to give you the exercise and that is to run barefoot. Now, here's the reason why. I just ran here 10 miles from the town that I'm staying in and I'm wearing my shoes. I'm wearing my ultras here. And I'll tell you that I was pretty tired on the run here. I've been running a lot, twice a day, lots of running here, and I was going pretty slow, and I'm pretty sure I was landing on my heels because I was tired. But as soon as I come out to the beach and take my shoes off, you know what happens? We land on the forefoot. So if you were to go out to your driveway or to the road right now, and you were to take your shoes off and run barefoot, I don't care if you're normally a heel striker or not, you're gonna land on your forefoot. And the reason is because it's just too painful to land on your heel when you're on a hard surface. So when you take your shoes off and you're barefoot, you will run on your forefoot. And what's gonna happen? Your stride turnover rate is going to increase because your stride is gonna become shorter. When it's shorter, it's gonna be quicker and you're gonna land on your forefoot, right? So barefoot running can actually be really good as a tool to help you learn how to forefoot strike. Otherwise, you know, back in 2008 or so, there was this whole craze with barefoot running and I'm not a fan of it because I don't want to cut myself but as an exercise in a controlled environment on a treadmill or in the sand or on soft grass it is a cool exercise a very good exercise that you can use when it comes to running barefoot you don't want to do too much of it because it's a good way to get hurt so don't do your long run barefoot don't even do a normal run or a workout barefoot you want to do it just as an exercise so maybe as part of your warm-up or your cool down, you can take your shoes off and run some strides on the grass or on a track or on a soft surface, and maybe just a few hundred meter strides. This is really just an exercise to help with your turnover. So don't overdo it. Just a little bit goes a long way. Now, when you put shoes on, you're likely to land on your heel. Why is that? Well, number one, there's two reasons. Number one is because you can. Instead of having your heel hit a hard surface, you have a big fat cushion underneath your heel. And so you can land on your heel and it doesn't hurt. So you will. And second is a lot of shoes they have, you've probably heard of a ramp in a shoe before. It's basically the difference between the heel height and the toe height, and you're up on like a high heel in most of your shoes. And uh, if you have a wedge under your heel that's more than your forefoot, then guess what? As you come through with your stride, your heel will touch the ground sooner than it normally would. And that last little bit before you touch the ground is where we plantar flex and we land on our forefoot. But if you take that away, because there's a wedge there, in your shoe, you'll land on your heel. So uh, once again, running barefoot can be a great exercise to learn how to run on your midfoot. Take a quicker stride rate, have less injury risk, better impact absorption, and run more efficiently. Hey, if you liked that video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And the best way to give back is to take the link for this video and send it to just one of your friends. It really helps us grow. We appreciate it. Thank you. We'll see you on the next video.